Video calls can be a pain for those with hearing issues. And because of this, Microsoft is taking steps to make its Teams platform more inclusive with its new sign language view. We'll break down how this new feature works as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for Trinity Technology News. Recently, Microsoft announced Sign Language View, a new feature coming to its Teams video conferencing platform sometime over the next few weeks. Once enabled, Sign Language View will allow a user to select up to two interpreter feeds to have fixed in a central location within their Microsoft Teams window. By placing interpreter feeds in the center of the screen, Microsoft promises optimal aspect ratios and resolutions for viewing. Now, this isn't to say that enabling Sign Language View makes it impossible to spotlight other team members in a meeting. When a team member is spotlighted or screen sharing is enabled for a presentation, the feed of each interpreter simply shifts to a different part of the screen. That said, interpreter feeds remain larger and more visible than that of other meeting attendees. Now, while this feature is a welcome addition for many people, keep in mind that Microsoft does not provide sign language interpreters for meetings. Instead, it's up to your organization to have either an internal or external interpreter on hand for these calls. Should the interpreter be an internal employee, they can be assigned the interpreter position in Teams prior to the start of the meeting. On the other hand, external interpreters will need to be assigned when the meeting begins. To do this, Microsoft has updated its accessibility tab with a few new functions. For example, when the meeting begins, you'll be able to use the accessibility tab to assign external individuals to the interpreter position. You'll also be able to easily toggle both live captions and sign language view from this tab as well. Keep in mind, it will be possible to enable sign language view persistently, so you won't have to dig in Teams accessibility tab during each meeting. It's also important to note that doing so doesn't impact all meeting members. Only individuals with sign language view enabled will be able to see the interpreters spotlighted. So you might be wondering how to enable sign language view for your team. At this point in time, Microsoft is promising that the feature will be automatically incorporated into Teams sometime over the next few weeks. Alternatively, for those that don't wish to wait, you can contact your IT department right now to request to be enrolled in Microsoft's public preview program. This will essentially give you early access to new features and their beta state. For help deploying the newest version of Microsoft Teams across your entire organization, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on training technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.